Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Stardew Valley. Now, I haven't actually recorded an episode of this for a while. Um, well, that's actually a lie. I did record this exact episode already, uh, <laughs> but the perspective was all fucked up so I had to re-record it. Uh, and that's what I'm doing now. So, I'm just going to check the weather report. Uh, it's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. For the luau. Cool. Um... Yeah, um, if you see anything that's different, it's because I got it in the last episode, but that footage is kind of unusable because of the perspective, so... Um, Dear Isaac, we're, tomorrow we're all gathering at the beach for the p annual Pelican Town Luau. The highlight of the event is the communal pot luck. Make sure you bring something to good to contribute. The governor himself is attending the event, so make sure you're on your best behaviour. Come to the beach sometime between 9am and 2pm. I think we might just do that. Yeah, in the last episode, we actually got um, the, the unaired episode. <laughs> the We actually got this drum block um, from Gumpfer, which apparently makes a noise every time you pass it, which is, you know, all nice. Uh, put on some iron as well, which is now done. Uh, and I'm going to put some more on. Oh, and that's all my iron used up. Perfect. Uh, put the wood back in there. Yeah, I don't know why these aren't planted. Mixed seeds. Apparently anything can grow with these, so... Uh, I need my hoe. I don't get very far without my hoe. <laughs> don't take that out of context. You, you, and you. Uh, oh, and then you're actually not needed, so there you go. Uh, right, I'm just going to cut while I do the watering, and I'll be back in a sec. And we're back. Um, yeah, there was a few um, uh, chilli peppers here that I got rid of, so that's all well and good. Um, there's some iron done. Which we'll put in the chest. And I'll probably never think about again. Speaking of, though, I do have some copper bars, and I kind of want to upgrade my tools, at least the axe, so that I can get into the forest. Um, the forest that's in the bottom half of the map. And I don't think I'll need my axe for the next couple of days anyway, so... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I know how much it costs, I think it's probably 1,000 gold? Um, so if it is, I'll be able to do that now. Especially since it's the Luau tomorrow, it's the perfect time to do it, really. Hi, Lewis. The Moonlight Jellies will be here soon. It's one of my favourite things about the valley. Moonlight Jellies. I'm guessing he means jellyfish. Not just, you know, some sweets. It'd be kind of disappointing if it was just sweet. Yeah, I did a recent round of geodes, so I won't need Clint for the next couple of days anyway. Uh, upgrade tools, please. I would like... A oh, it costs 2,000. Right, okay, so it's going to make me skin, but I think, it, I think it's worth it. Oh, yeah, steel watering can. Damn. Yeah, I'm going to need that sooner or later, but not right now. Thanks, I'll get started on this as soon as I can. Sweet. I can't get ice cream. I can't just pull ice cream from the freezer, unfortunately. I was going to steal some ice cream, but... That's apparently not a very nice thing to do. Apparently you can't just kick a kid in the face and take his ice cream. <laughs> Who made up these rules? <laughs> I came for the sound of the ocean. Beautiful, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I guess it is. I'll tell you what's more beautiful, though. Stuff I can sell. 
This game, this game, despite uh, preaching for you know environmentalism and stuff like that, it does kind of support capitalism. <laughs> In a way, it doesn't, because obviously Jojo Mart is the ultimate capitalist symbol, and uh, obviously they're the bad guys, but um, in the same way, you're kind of doing the exact same thing that they're doing, only you're giving some of your earnings to the community centre. So, uh, I don't know. It's tricky. Might make a video one day about the... Uh, the political stance of Stardew Valley. I think that'd be a fun video idea. <laughs> you can see how sad I am by that's what I consider fun. Uh, <laughs> yeah, ten peppers, put them in. Sweet pea, yeah, put that in. And a clam. Right, pine tar, you can go in the stuff chest. Copper that I've got left over, you can go there. Uh, right, what to do now? Um, oh, I think it's Maru's birthday today, actually. I wonder what she'd like. She likes science, doesn't she? She's a science nut. Or is that her dad? I think that might be her dad, actually. Um, I know she likes looking at stars for a telescope. So, I don't know, something that reminds her of a star? Maybe a bit of quartz. Let's give her some quartz. Why not? Actually, make sure to bring my hoe. Always need the hoe. Bring in my hoe to go see my other hoe. A.K.A. Maru. Who isn't my hoe at all, because if I look at my uh, relationships, Maru is like so far down. I don't think I've even ever spoken to her. Yeah. Never given her a gift. You haven't given any gifts of, of this kind. <laughs> Yay. Oh, you can actually see their favourites if you've already given it to them. That's gr that's really interesting. I never knew that. Uh, yeah, here we go. Gus. I gave him a sweet pea on his birthday and he liked it, but he didn't love it. Linus. I've given him... Grapes and sweet peas, and he likes both of them. I've given Shane a beer, and he loves beer. And that's it. <laughs> Apparently I don't interact with the townspeople much. Uh, there's another sweet pea up here, so I can give that to someone. Probably Linus again, to be honest. Now to find where Maru actually is. Usually she's just in her house, I think. Up here. Oh, hello, Harvey. Remember to cover your mouth when you sneeze. Do you want a sweet pea, Harvey? Oh, no, I didn't want to eat it. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, well. <laughs> I was going to give that to Harvey, but... Uh, just nommed it right in front of him instead. Robin's just leaving, but I'm hoping Maru's in here, but not behind the locked door. No. Ah. Where could she be, then? She Oh, she sometimes hangs out near the community centre, I think, by the waterfall. Not the waterfall, the, the, the um, water fountain. Over this way. Oh, there's a dad. You're probably growing a lot of interesting plants on your farm, huh? Yeah, where's your daughter, mate? I need to give her a birthday gift. It's probably worth quite a lot, so, you know, she definitely wants it. I ain't saying she's a gold digger, but... Do you think I'll ever turn pro? Um... Maybe if you practice, practice a lot, yeah. You're destined to be a sports legend. Um, I mean, I'm not going to lie to him. He's probably not. He's, he lives in a small town. You know, he might he might be good at sports here, but if he, you know, moved somewhere else, he might just be small potatoes. So, 
Maybe, if you practice a lot. Yeah, well, I'm so good, I'm not going to have to practice all that, all that much. Okay. Clear arrogance and not wanting to practice. That makes you very, um, not likely to, <laughs> to become a sports legend. Hello, Marnie. You can use a uh, scythe to cut feed from the grass. I know, but I don't have any animals, so it's not actually that, that, that important right now. What is important is that I find where Maru is. I don't think I've ever seen her at the beach, so I don't know why I came down here. Actually, she might be over this way. No, no, that's just Leah, isn't it? Yeah. It's getting late, she might be heading home. So I'll go back up to her house. Hopefully I can intercept her before she gets in the door and locks it. <laughs> Sounds very stalkerish when you say it like that. It's I swear it's so I can give her something nice. Ah, there she is. Don't go! No! Ah, oh, okay, you're going to go look at the stars. Good. Uh, right, here you go. Have a quartz. Birthday gift, that's very kind of you. I love it. Again, I don't think you love it, otherwise a heart would have appeared, but you like it, so that's good enough. Uh, right. Yeah, if I go down... To... Oh, where's she now? Ah, there she is. Yeah, liked. Quartz. Cool. Alright, home sweet home. Uh, and I guess... Well, I have a little bit of energy. I might just cop, uh, chop down some more trees. Just to get some extra bit of wood. Because I still need some wood for the... Construction bundle. I need... Uh, well, I need 99 in total, but I think I've already got some of that. I've got 33, so I need 66 more wood. Um, so, where's my... Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to uh, chop down some trees, but I've given my axe to Clint, haven't I? So, instead, I'm just going to uh, go to bed. Have an early night. Say goodbye, to Ca good night to Casper. Yep, go to sleep. Little bit of money coming in. <laughs> Check the TV. Weather report. Looks like a storm is approaching. Thunder and lightning is expected. Oh, that's good. Right, now, before I head down to the Luau. Oh, hello. Uh. Hi, Isaac. I have some good news for you. I made a break breakthrough in my research on the local environment. I'll spare you the technical details and get to the point. You know that empty cave over there, a little ways to the west? Well, I have a way to turn it into something useful for both of us. I'd like to set up the cave to attract some local species. That way I can observe them in a more controlled environment, and you can harvest whatever pr uh, products they produce. I can either set up the cave to attract mushrooms or fruit bats. The, f the bats will sometimes leave fruit for you to collect. Ooh, now this is a good question. Because <sighs> trees are really take fucking forever to grow fruit. So bats would be a good idea. And to be honest, I can get mushrooms from mine from the mines and stuff, so yeah, I think bats is probably the better idea. Alright, I'll go set it up for you right now. It shouldn't take any time at all. Thanks for letting me do this. No worries. Right, uh, I'm going to quickly uh, water all the plants before we head down to the low aisle, so I'll, I'll cut again. All done. Alright, um, so yeah. That can go away. That can go away. And the Luau's begun, so let's go to... Oh, uh, bring something for the potluck. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, what? Oh, yeah, I haven't really got... Oh, i got a strawberry. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's bring... 
Let's bring some strawberries for the potluck. That might have been what I was saving the, the uh, peppers for, actually, thinking about it, but oh well. Strawberries will do. We're going to be arriving 30 minutes late, you know, fashionably late, as always. Um, I like to make an entrance, so... <laughs> In real life, I actually really don't. I hate being late in real life. In fact, most of the time I hate being late so much that I'm almost always 10 minutes early for anything. Even if I'm just meeting mates or something. Ooh, this is very fancy. Lots of food available, apparently. Hello, everyone. I put fresh vegetables from my garden into the communal soup pot. Maybe if I get on the governor's good side, he'll give my business a tax break. I wonder if he if he likes aged whiskey. You trying to bribe the governor, governor, so that you don't have to pay tax? Wow. Pierre is apparently just Jeff Bezos. <laughs> um, hey, free buffet. One of the perks of living here. Enjoy it, kid. Thanks. All right. Gus, these blasted sandflies keep landing on the food. Yeah, it is kind of a problem of having, you know, a lot of open food, as you get a lot of insects. Right, I'm going to add something to the soup. Yep, strawberries. Speak to a few of my favourite people. Not, well, I said that and I spoke to Hayley, who really isn't, but oh well. Uh, I would dance, but I don't want to get sweaty. Yeah. Perfect weather for a beach party, huh? I guess it is, yeah. Oh, Emily, you are a legend. Just dancing on your own. That is... That is what I call, <laughs> call like, independence right there. She's unresponsive. <laughs> She's so into it as well. She just she doesn't care about anyone else. Uh, I'm bored. Vincent isn't a good dancer. <laughs> well, it might be because he's bored, Jazz. Um, ow, you stepped on my foot, dear. This is tiring, honey. Are you ready to visit the buffet soon? <laughs> I love how Emily's the only one actually enjoying it. Because Jazz doesn't like dancing with Vincent. Vincent doesn't like dancing at all. At all. These guys are terrible at dancing. The only one that's enjoying it is Emily. <laughs> uh, that music, it's too loud. And these guys are clearly aren't enjoying it either. Can I have a little piece of quiet and to enjoy the ocean? I guess you could, George, but don't be a grouchy fucker, alright? One year, Sam put a pound of anchovies in the potluck soup. <laughs> Hopefully it's nicer this year. I'm full, but what else is there to, to do besides eat? You shouldn't just eat because you're bored, that's, you know... I'm pretty sure that's called an eating disorder. Uh, whatever Linus is roasting smells awfully good. Slurp. Is he slurping? A slow, continuous rotation is key to achieving the perfect roast. Hmm. Good to know, good to know. Governor, who cares? Ah, uh, he's being very, um, what's the word? Uh, anti establishment. He's being very anti establishmentarianismist. <laughs> it's definitely not a word. <laughs> um. What a lovely occasion. It's always a joy to visit Stardew Valley. I'm sure it is. I think to get everything moving along, you talk to Lewis, so. Uh, is there anyone that I want to talk to that I haven't spoken to yet? Maybe, oh, Marlon. What's, what's, what, what are you doing? I'll be back here by the trees. The air is a lot cooler. Mm. I love how they re-broke the bridge just for today. Um, where's Shane? I haven't seen Shane yet. Oh, there he is. Wow, you don't get hot pepper chutney like this in the big city. I guess you don't. Right, let's move things along, Lewis. Look sharp, the governor's here for his annual visit. visit. If you brought something for the potluck, make sure to add it to the soup. I already did. Should we move forward with the luau? The governor seems a little hungry. Yes, let's start. Well, folks, it's time once again for the potluck ceremony. 
I trust that you all put high quality ingredients in the pot this year. We don't want the government to regret his visit to, to the valley. I wonder if you deliberately put something really shit in there. What's his reaction? Well, Governor, would you do us the honours of tasting the soup? Of course, I've been looking forward to this all year. Well, he seems relatively happy. Ah, that's a very pleasant soup. The produce from this valley never disappoints. Mmm, tasty. You all did very well today. Now, who else wants some soup? Yeah, the strawberries went down well. <laughs> the Lowell was a success. Good thing I brought something tasty for the soup. Time to head home. Ah. That was a very productive day. Well, kind of. I mean... It's a very short day compared to the usual, but... Uh, these aren't ready, are they? No. Okay. I thought I'd... It was darker, so I couldn't quite see. Um, it's 10.20. Still got some energy. Oh, I was going to say. Again, chop down some trees, but I can't because it's... <laughs> Gus is... Uh, not Gus. Gus is the wrong person. Clint's still got my um, axe. So, just say goodnight to Casper and go to bed. Go to sleep for the night. Ah, wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. <laughs> Oh, my copper axe is ready. Beautiful. Isaac, I found something interesting. Uh, I found this recipe in a magazine, and I thought it sounded interesting. Feel free to give me a taste of it if you like it. Hee <laughs> hee. Shane. Pepper poppers. Oh, that's nice of him. That's nice of Shane. I don't have a kitchen, so I can't actually make it. But still. Anyway, uh, I'm going to leave this episode here. So, thanks for you all for watching. Uh, if you like the video, make sure to leave a like, and if you want to see more of my stuff, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much, and goodbye.